Hello everyone and welcome to our webinar Industrial Plant Design webinar series part 2 on efficient 3D plant design software. I will be hosting this webinar. My name is Utpala Bhalerao and I am Senior Marketing Development Executive in Cadmatic for India. Before we go ahead with the session, let me walk you through with some details for this session. I would kindly ask you to close all the other application except go to webinar. This way we can ensure the quality of the webinar for you. During the webinar, if there is any problem with audio or picture quality, you can use your control panel to interact with us and we will try our best to help you. With the question tool in the side of the screen, you can type in questions anytime during the webinar. We will try to answer as many questions as we can at the end of the webinar. And if we cannot answer all of them live, you will get all answers by email. And now, I would like to call Mr. Lavneet Kumar, Sales Manager for the company introduction. Thank you Utpala for giving brief details and good afternoon everyone for your kind support and attention. Now I'll take forward to introduce myself and provide you a brief introduction about Cadmatic as a company and our offering solutions. I am Lavneet Kumar, Regional Sales Manager for managing sales and BD for North and East India region. I have completed my BTEC in Electronics and Communication and MBA in Sales and Marketing. I have joined Cadmatic in 2022 and bought big prospects in oil and gas, pharma, chemical and other industries. I am having 15 plus years of experience in handling business development for oil and gas, chemical fertilizer, nuclear power and other industries. We are independent software provider for process industry, marine and construction field. In process industry, we have plant software solutions for process design, 3D plant design, PNID design, electrical and automation. In marine software solution, we provide hull and structure, piping and outfitting, electrical and automation. In construction, we have electrical and automation, structures and HVAC. Information management solutions and electrical and automation is common in all three verticals. Today webinar is of main focus on process industry 3D design application. So we will give you brief of our offering in process industry vertical. In process industry we have further subdivided it into three verticals. Design application, information management and data management. In design application, we have PNID design, 3D design, and modeling and electrical design, wherein you can generate intelligent PNID, 3D model, and extract deliverables like line list, valve list, equipment list, data sheet, BOQ, isometrics, GAs, and layouts. In electrical module, we have design, SLD, do cable routing, cable trays, automation, ducting, etc. In information management, we have eShare, eBrowser, eGo. eShare or Cadmatic Digital Twin is our enterprise solution wherein you can collaborate all your project data with third party applications such as SAP, ERP, PLM, etc. In eShare, you can check the status of project procured part, constructed part, and commissioned part. eBrowser and eGo are review tools to review 3D models. In data management solutions, we have four modules. Cadmatic project is an application designed to support and report the progress of any project, kind of project managed with Oracle Primavera P6 or Microsoft projects. Cadmatic construction is an application focused mainly for EPC contractor that integrate information coming from engineers, material management, procurement team, project management and other sources. Combining them to perform prefabrication analysis, site warehouse management and prefabrication. Cadmatic material is an integrated engineering IT suite that can support all the activities of piping discipline, managing the line list, piping specification development, material management up to the generation of material requisitions. Cadmatic engineering is an application that allows multidisciplinary team of engineers to work 
together during the development of engineering activities defining all the items involved in project design Kedmatic today is having offices in 15 countries with 300 plus employees our main sales support and development centers are in finland and the netherlands and the regional offices is in australia china canada estonia hungary it india italy singapore spain south korea sweden uae and poland we have local support partner in 16 countries and we have started our india's operation in 2007 with headquarter in thane mumbai and regional offices in bengaluru ahmedabad and goa we have 6000 customers organization in 60 countries here you can see some of our plant customers in india we are leaders for providing engineering solutions in nuclear industry where npcl barc heavy water board are our esteemed customers in oil and gas we have cpcl which is a iocl subsidiary and npro are our customers we have other esteemed customers like bhcl tata consulting engineers shop ra engineers and many other from different industries here we have some global plant references eni sumitomo bonatti italy saudi aramco sueco and air liquid are our global customers with this information i am concluding my part thank you lavnit for the company introduction and now i would like to call mr rahul sansare team leader for the technical presentation webinar thank you utpala ma'am good afternoon everyone i am your technical presenter for today's webinar i have completed my diploma in mechanical engineering in 2005 we take in mechanical engineering 2010 masters in piping engineering in 2011 i have a total 18 years of experience in nuclear power oil and gas chemical and pharma industry and i have worked in brownfield and greenfield project i have also taken health and safety environment training at qatar i have joined cadmatic in the year 2018 as an application specialist then i have promoted to senior application specialist in 2021 and now i am leading a team as a technical team leader i have worked in international design modules nozzle orientations and now i am delivering training and demonstrations in cadmatic software solutions and expert in solving client queries what we are going to see in today's webinar so part 1 has been completed for pnid or piping diagram on 29 march now part 2 is we are going to showcase today uh, on cadmatic design application and in the upcoming webinars part 3 we are going to see cadmatic information management and part 4 we are going to see dm product the focus areas of the webinars are integrating cadmatic diagram with cadmatic plant modeler moving of the equipment with connected lines without cutting or modifying the connected lines changing of nominal size of pipeline with the valves and inline components changing of valve types which are already placed in pipeline without deleting and placing those valve online clash detection internal work request pipe support and structure extraction of production deliverables like ga drawings bill of material in excel support drawings and isometric drawings what are the key benefits of the webinar optimize performance with 3d model of any size or complexity easy modify and reuse your assets in multiple projects save the time and minimize error with automated data handling Now we are going to start with our technical demonstration. This is our cadmatic desktop and this is our plant modeler. 
if we double click it opens you can see the interface of plant modeler at the left side we have model tree view where we can make the systems pipelines and this tree view can be of different types of hierarchy and if we select some equipments or if we are selecting some proper name of the equipments as per the tag number so that gets highlighted in the plant modeler right hand side we have the properties where we can see the detailed information connections properties of the equipments and here we have different type of tabs home tab is there for general commands then after we have layout tab where we can insert the equipments and structural part and many more commands in then we have piping where we have uh, different type of commands for the piping routing of pipe uh, moving the pipe inserting flanges and many more commands same way we have the ducting interface where ducting tab where we have all the different type of commands to root the duct and uh, modify the duct we are having cable tray also where we can modify the cable trays in a structural command we have uh, we can insert structure in the plant modeler area or we can 3d model the structure in documents we can extract the drawings in tool there are different type of commands where uh, support is also included in the tool commands so the, we have different type of hierarchy where we can have the different type of commands now if we are clicking on any other uh, equipment and if you want to come into the tree view so directly we can come into or jump into the tree view at the left hand side you can see here now what we will do we will uh, just see the how to filter it uh, means uh, if you want to filter the box we can filter in the x direction or y direction or z direction so any 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 direction we can filter the view now we will start with our placing of equipment and we will come here uh, so first before placing equipment we will mirror the pump foundation here or we will take some reference point of the pump of the foundation of the plate plated exchanger and then we can take some center point or midpoint and then we can mirror it copy and mirror option is available so we have mirrored that and uh, we uh, we want to place the equipment which are linked with the pnid we can tell or which are linked with the piping diagram so it is all integrated information what we have linked in the pnid gets integrated in the 3d model so before that what we will do we will visualize some set of queries we can make different type of queries where we can have the uh, different type of visualization methods we can have now i am selecting equipment and pump foundation and i have selected that for the demo area and i will do okay so in which view i want to visualize that i have visualized that view now what we will do the uh, integration which we have done with the 2d environment so that link equipment we are going to place here and you can see here we can select different type of system as per uh, the requirement and here we want to select a pump uh, 910 which we have linked and then we can rotate if you want to rotate the pump or if you want to have some different directions x y z direction we can rotate here now i have rotated a pump and then i am taking a reference of that pump in the plane method so i want to place that uh, pump in the parallel to the y axis and by taking the reference of the pump foundation midpoint i can tell so i am taking the average of that and then after i am giving the direction of the plane and i can place that pump so after placing a pump now what we can do we can route a pipeline so i am uh, so i am uh, selecting a command pipe route and if i am clicking uh, the nozzle of this the all the information is coming from the pnid so this line information is coming from the pnid which we have integrated and after starting the com piping command so we can see here uh, one red and white color bar has been came which is called as candy bar in the cadmatic and then after i am routing a pipeline by taking some reference and from this foundation i want to have back uh, 300 mm in x axis so i am having that and then after again from here i want to root pipelines automatically so i can root a pipeline automatically here same way now i want to have uh, means i want to root a pipeline which is below nozzle and i have started and same way the information has came here and now i am taking the reference of the uh, upper pipeline means uh, it should come one below the another or it should superimpose one another so like that reference i am taking here till uh, the pipeline elbow center and then after 
from here we can route a pipe automatically by having the uh, by connection uh, by taking the connection to the pump and see this has been routed automatically now what i want to do i want to place some valves here so i am coming here in uh, valves option and i will play take the references and i am placing a valve into the line and this information also is coming from the pnid which we have linked or which we have integrated and we can rotate the valve as, at the time of placement only or if you want to slide we can slide the valves too same way uh, i will place a valve for the upper line so i will place the valve for upper line again into the line and what is there in that line automatically it will appear so and again i have rotated the direction of the hand wheel of the valve in this if you want to change the nominal size of a pipeline uh, so we can select start of the pipeline and end of the pipe run and it will tell you that what are the sizes available and what you want to change so i am changing it automatically the inline components also change with the support inline supports so like that we can have and again we will come here and we will check a topology option from the pnid the comparison uh, to compare topology is the option where we can compare with the pnid so you can see here this pipeline has been routed very properly and the another pipeline is also uh, routed very properly because that is the reason it is showing in green color and this 102 is not in the model means we, we have not yet started the routing of that pipeline now i am starting with the routing and i can take again a reference or if i want to add some reducer as the size is increasing to 32 to 50 and i am taking a reference of the plated exchanger nozzle and then we can route here now i will purposely clash this with the this pipeline to show you the online clash detection option so in this online clash detection option you can directly see that if it is clashing with any other discipline and you can change the route uh, it saves a lot of time at the time of collision run we can tell and here i am now routing the pipeline now i will uh, place some valves here again into the line and purposely i will place this valves vice versa to show you how the compare topology option is so much intelligent how it works so i am uh, i am placing a valve into this and vice versa as per the pnid i will place vice versa valves so for first i will place this valve and i will give okay and then after i will place a wall after placing a wall check in compare topology option that how it shows the comparison option now i am coming in tools and again in compare topology option and here you can see uh, i will select again a pnid and in this valve it is showing me that the location of the valve should be after 6103 valve so it is so much intelligent that it shows the flow and the location also uh, as per the flow and i will change the position uh, of this valves and automatically that error message will vanish and it will become green in color again now i am coming here and i am placing a valve here now uh, again insert into the line of chat and i am i am placing a valve now i have placed a valve here and you can see again i will go to compare topology option this and i can see the differences so all the three pipelines are now in green in color so everything is uh, as per pnid so that is the reason we can check and now after updating this we can again go in pnid and we can see the what are the pipelines or uh, components routed that will highlight in the that will get highlighted here so see here this has been highlighted so it if you if it is uh, not present or if pipeline is not having something then we can understand that now i am coming here uh, in revisualization option and i want to only visualize this concrete to uh, place a support now now i will come here and i will come here in uh, support option and i will first uh, place the primary support and then after i will place a secondary support so i am taking a reference of 250 from the elbow edge and then i can place a support we can have as many as type of supports there are many types of supports available in the library but for webinar purpose i have only taken this <coughs> two types of supports only now i have placed a support which is having a clamp uh, and shoe and then after uh, if i want to slide i can slide with the reference of below support so now i am sliding with the reference of below support and i can have the midpoint in a proper manner one below the other another after doing this i will come in the support and then i will assign a number to the support and i will assign primary support and secondary support here so now uh, i am assigning here 
one of uh, one of the support as a name as primary one so i want to have both in one support so i am assigning one of the support and a secondary support now i will construct here so there are different type of templates available what templates we want to have as per our standard or if you want to make the template as per your company standard so that is also possible to make the templates as per the company standard now uh, i will give some uh, reference in y axis and i will give the face uh, below the concrete is concrete face i can tell and from there i can start with the points i want to only show three type of points as per the templates so first point was there and this is the second point which uh, we are placing and then after uh, on the upper line we will place the third point so i have taken the reference of first concrete uh, from there i have started the first point and then we are uh, giving second and third point and automatically this support has been placed so this is the traditional method which we have done for the support we have placed a, a primary support first and then after a secondary support but we do have a, a option called support wizard where we can place primary and secondary together so now I, if you can see here i am coming and i am placing a primary and secondary support from the support wizard so i will take one reference of this pipeline and from here i will place the supports now uh, we can give the means, uh, location of the support from where we want to start and we are giving some uh, dimensions that uh, one uh, it should be 200 from minus y axis and from there again 200 to the plus y axis so like these references we can give and we can also give the floor references from where we want to have the elevation of the support now i have given the support and i will uh, specify the direction of the support and uh, you can see the support has been came means here uh, u bolt and the secondary structure has also came with the help of support wizard after creating this support what we can do we can directly create this drawings also of the support so now i want to create some drawing then i can create a drawing also so this is the support which we have placed by support wizard method now i will close this and uh, these two supports i have placed now i will close this and i will come to uh, means uh, extract a drawings of these supports so we can select uh, wizard non wizard supports or uh, uh, drawing is existing or non existing so uh, this uh, methods are there where we can select many type of uh, things differently now i have created a drawing template and after creating a drawing template we will see how the drawing has been extracted here or it has been came in the documents in the drawing commands now this drawing is there which we have placed support primary one and then after a secondary one so like that we have placed here and you can see and here is the boq of that supports so automatically the drawing gets created and the part numbers also so like that supports we can create here and this is the support number so primary is uh, attached to the secondary support here from here we can link that now uh, we can see the support which we have created via support wizard method so here as we have given 200 dimensions so here see uh, with the center line we have given the 200 dimension in the y axis and the uh, minus y axis and this is the support uh, boq which we have uh, is which uh, from the support template it is getting called so like that we can directly create thousands of support if you want to have and the drawings also of that after creating this support we will see how we can create a ga drawing now for ga drawing uh, i will create a drawing view and here i will give some name for the drawing view as per your as per your hierarchy or as per your standard we can give names and we can uh, create different type of sheets as per your template sheets as per your company standard if you are having some different type of templates that can be created here and here are the attributes where we can create different type of attributes also or as per the support project requirement we can tell so here we are we are creating now uh, a drawing title for a drawing and then after we can create the views here now this uh, drawing has been created but inside that there is an empty view so we are creating views now 
So we can create views. It is very easy to create views. We can run query or via system wise or via area wise. So any type of uh, selection we can do or inside the box or intersecting the box. So now I, I will select this and then I will show a intersecting box method where after right clicking, I will have object intersecting a box. So for foundation, I want to select that method. Then I am selecting that. So the inside the box intersecting that has been came. I will deselect the floor and then I can create a view. So as I have selected a top view, a front view and axle view. So these three views has been created. Now I will add these views to the current page. So I have added these views and if you want to have different type of labels, we can create different type of labels as per your standard of the company. So we can create different type of labels and this label uh, we can call via automatic labeling option. So I will, uh, I want to have equipment position ID, well position ID labels. So I am selecting that. And after, uh, and after this, I will select the views. There are some settings which we can do as per your requirement. And now we are creating automatic labels. So it will take uh, nearly uh, 30 seconds to one minute for creation of labels. So it will create with the uh, whole view. Means, uh, whole view will have means top view, front view, exo view. All views will, uh, all views automatic label will be created. So as I told before that we can create a label as per your company standard or how the labels if you want to have. So like that labels can be created as per the uh, some symbols or some legend sheets in the PNID also and in the 3D environment also. So like that label has been created and you can see in the drawing view, if I will zoom here, so this labels in the top view has been created and this is the front view. Here also we can see the labels has been created of the equipments and also of the valves and also of the pipelines. So like that labels also we can create. Now after creating the labels, if if I want to have some equipment center lines, so I can come here in, for equipment center lines, I will select in top view, I want to have equipment center lines. So you can see now automatically the center line of the equipments has been created. You can see uh, in the tank, the center line of the equipments in the pump, the center line of the equipment has been created. Now same way, if I am coming here for uh, pipelines, if I want to have a center line for pipelines, so I can come here, I can define the size also that about 20 NB I want to have center lines and I can regenerate the view and automatically this center line has came here. So you don't have to do uh, manually some work because there are many functionalities in GA drawing to have to uh, create the views and to have all the center lines of the equipments, pipelines. So we can create that. Now after creating center line, uh, I want to have a uh, dimensions we can tell. So we can have dimensions also, but before that we will see a piping hiding box option where if the pipeline is coming one below the another, so we can break that pipeline and we can show the below pipeline or the equipment is coming under down. So we can have this uh, piping hiding box option here. Also, as I was telling about that, if you want to create some dimensions, we can create some dimensions. This is a drafting environment here. Now I'm selecting a view for the dimensions and can start with this. So these references which I am catching now is the references which we are using in the 3D model. So it is very easy to create. So we can create a horizontal direction, vertical direction, inclined direction. What kind of direction we want to have, uh, we can create a dimensional uh, description or dimension as per the requirement. So here I am giving some reference points where I want to have the edge of the dimensions or where I want to measure from which dimension to which dimension I want to have. So this dimensions also we can create in very easy manner. After creating the dimensions, you can see uh, if uh, if you are using some uh, uh, project for uh, grids or uh, uh, some reference points are there. So like that we can have the reference point and grid points also. So if I'm coming here and model views, uh, model, views uh, model lines into the views and I will take this and I will cross uh, take the references and I will get a uh, grid lines here. So uh, you can see the grid lines has been created and also with the dimensions it has been created. So that dimensions also we can uh, have the size and what kind of size you want to have as per your requirement we can have that sizes too. After having this J drawing we can export that drawing into DWG format. 
so you can see here there are different type of formats if dwg pdf jpg image and here are some different formats of autocad drawings we want to export so like that we can export and here is the pdf environment if you want to have current colors or black and white or gray scale so like that we can use here for the extraction purpose and if you don't have any uh, 2d cad uh, uh, drawing software so we have our uh, inbuilt user where we can directly uh, export the drawing and we can visualize that drawing so we do have editor uh, option or viewer option where we can visualize the drawings which we have uh, extracted or which we have which we want to export from the G, uh, from the 2d environment or drawing uh, tab we can tell so like that we can export the uh, drawing here now the drawing has been exported here this is GA drawing so from the scratch we have started the drawing and we have completed within a fr uh, fraction of minutes the drawing has been completed again I will come here and I will select some uh, for the isometrics I will select some system which I have routed the pipeline so like that uh, I will select and we will create an isometric which we want to create so we, we, have, we have created isometric and here automatic labeling of isometrics has uh, created as per your template we can create the template also as per your company standard and uh, now newly uh, one isometric tool has been came in the latest version where we can have spool uh, and isometric type something different in this environment we are having isometric and spool drawings uh, generating one after the another so it is generating the spool drawings also and isometric drawing also and you can see the detail view what we have called uh, part numbers are there then support number is there here then valves are there uh, then direction of the valves available here also again the second support which we have placed so the second support has came and here are the details of the valve uh, bolts and this is the boq which we can call as per your requirement or as per your company standards so the template can be made in a very easy fashion so through 3d attachment is there or if you want to have uh, call the uh, data from the PNID so we can call the data from the PNID also so you can see here the and this is the, the spool drawings which we have generated where well numbers if you want a shop join or field join we want to have that can be called or if you want to have different type of views that also can be called here and uh, after after calling this you can see here the cut length of the pipe we can call or spool length of the pipe we can call here so this uh, option is also available in isometrics and spools in cadmatic environment now we have created uh, we have seen isometrics now we will go and we will see in listing how listing can be done different type of uh, list we can call means if you want to have a pipeline list or line wise mto or uh, area wise mto so all that can be called see these are some different uh, uh, icgd we can tell in cadmatic environment where we can call the a different type of excel uh, boqs means consolidated mto we want to have or system wise mto we want to have or area wise mto we want to have so all these uh, uh, different type of mtos can be called in the excel format so you can see here now i am extracting excel list and this has been called here so pipes are there elbows are there piping components so these are called in different sheet if you want to call one below the another so that is also possible to call here so this uh, extracted we have called the boq and now i want to uh, call pipeline list for example we have filled some attribute to the pipeline so we can call what are the pipelines present in the model that also can be called here so uh, means for piping parts and for standard components i am calling the pipeline list so it will be means it will be huge if thousands of pipelines are used but we do have the method to call pipeline list also and if you want to make some attribute comparison we can make some attribute comparison in this you can see here now the pipeline list has been called here so the, the attributes which we are filling here which we have filled or which are not filled will be seen here that these are the attributes filled and these are the attributes not filled here so if we, if a human error is there then also we can uh, differentiate and we can add the attributes afterwards also now i am coming here in a script environment where I, uh, we have made some script for the clients where we can extract uh, weld inch dia or uh, weld inch meter from the uh, systems so now i am uh, extracting weld inch dia and you can see within a fraction of seconds you will get all the weld inch dia which is present here in uh, model for the pipelines 
so you can see the details here that pipelines is their connection faces one two inch in nominal size is available then uh, weld quantity is also available so all this information can be called and in the last you can see inch dia has been called here so all this inch dia can be called as per your requirement or inch meter if you want to call uh, we can call inch meter also now i will start with uh, routing a cable tray so i am routing a cable tray here you can see as the commands of the piping is there same way the commands of the uh, cable trays are also there and we can see now i have started with the cable tray and uh, you can see automatically the elbow has been taken if you are going up or left side or right side so this can be done if you want to add some components here are some different type of components we have so now i am adding a, a branch i can tell or t here so i will add t and if you want to uh, route a cable tray more we can route a cable tray and if you want to add some uh, reducers also we can add some reducers also in this so see the size has been reduced here so like that we can make the routing of the cable trays also if you know the uh, routing of pipelines then you know the routing of cable tray and ducting it is the same use here so now i can see i can use here i can move the uh, cable tray in the y axis environment or y axis direction i can tell so here it has been uh, means if you want to do the modification we can easily do the modification now this is a cable router option where we can uh, route the cables also within the cable trays so there are different uh, type of uh, option first uh, what i will do i will only visualize the cable tray to make it easy so i am visualizing the cable tray which i have made some queries as i have told before we can make some different rules as per our requirement uh, in the queries option so now this cable tray has been visualized and if i want to have a uh, routing cables i can have a uh, routing of cable tray manually also and via uh, excel method also so there are different type of methods available here now as as to tell about uh, see here uh, there are different type of cable trays also power control now i will create a new cable tray and i will give some name you can give any name as per your standards electrical standards if you are having you can give any name of in this now i have uh, i am giving a name here and uh, again i am selecting which type of cable it is a power or control cable tray so that i am selecting then what is the cable material which size is the cable material so i am sele selecting a cable material here then after i will select the head of the uh, equipment and the tail of the equipment in the path so i will select one of the head from where it is going to which equipment means for example from uh, which gb it is going to pump or any other thing so like that we can select also so i am uh, selected i have added here now after adding it will be seen in the non routed option after uh, we make it as auto route then automatically it will go to the routed option so like that things uh, are there means if i am importing this now you can see here what i am doing i am importing a, a cable tray from the excel environment or from the xml files we can tell this excel list which we have seen we can make as per your requirement what we want to have attributes or what we want to call the attributes which we can call and in this in this attribute you can see uh, there is head tail or cable name type of cables and this we are saving as a xml file so we are saving as a xml file this and after saving this xml file we can import that file into the cable router environment means we are inputting into cable router and this uh, if we are having purposely i have kept some problem uh, that if we having some problem so it will show that there is a problem between this and these two uh, cable has been came to the routed but while routing also it will show problem and it will uh, say that this cable cannot be routed and uh, only the cable which is uh, properly uh, given the names head tail and all the information can be routed here so see here this cable has been routed so there are different type of methods of why xml means excel method we can tell or why xml we can call now i want to route a uh, ducting means uh, i want to do a hvac routing we can tell so i am starting from here so you can see uh, if you want to add a component we can come here we can add a component uh, like uh, different type of elbows are there or different type of bands are available we can call that bands and here we can give the dimension if you want to change the dimension we can change the dimension there also 
now i am routing a ducting and then if i want to give some transition piece i can give the transition piece also now i am giving a transition piece here you can see it is a, a different size which we are there and then i can uh, change the dimension if i want to change or if it is okay i can route it uh, uh, this now i have purposely clashed with this uh, with the cable tray to show you that your inducting also online clash detection option works now i will add a component where if i want to go up or box type elbow is there uh, for hvxo like that elbow i will insert and i can change the direction to the up so like that uh, routing also we can do for ducting now after uh, routing a duct what i will do i will insert some uh, flanges i can tell so auto parts uh, we can uh, insert some flanges into this at the regular intervals uh, this micro works so if you are having some standard we can uh, import that see here now it has been uh, placed this flanges has been placed so same way if i want to insert some part here i can insert a part so now i am inserting a t shape rectangular uh, piece so here is the shape and if you want to change the orientation also we can change the orientation here and also if i want to add some uh, i can tell spiral duct so we can add a spiral duct also now you can see here if i am coming here and uh, attaching a piece on the rectangular duct so this is a uh, round duct we can tell and from here we can root a spiral duct or round duct with this so now i, I am rooting this and it, it will be seen like a pipe only but this is a duct which we are routing so like that uh, ducting round ducting also we can do in cadmatic if i want to have some uh, spool drawings for this fabrication drawings so we can directly extract these drawings also from the uh, cadmatic so this is uh, the spool environment is uh, uh, i can tell hvx spool we tell this model uh, this add on as and now i am so i am showing you this uh, spools how it it is created in the hvx spools so i am selecting the parts which are part i want to have then i can assign that to the group to the main duct and from here i can make a drawing and in that drawing we can uh, have the fabrication detail drawing of the ducts so here you can see which view we want to have or which attribute i want to have so that attributes i can call now <clears throat> this drawing has been created and i want to edit this document and then after i will add the spools which i want to have so if i want to have different type of spools in different drawing i can have different type of spool in different drawing also or in one drawing if i want to have all the spools i can have one in one drawing also so now this drawing is getting created you can see the view where the drawings are so these are some fabrication detail view i will maximize this to show you in a proper manner so see here the dimensions and all the details of view has been came here and with the boq so you will get the quantity description and all the details of that view so this spools uh, hvx spools can be generated from cadmatic and it will be very useful for the fabrication purpose for the h uh, for the hvac department or hvac and mechanical department so <clears throat> now i will come here for insert command where we will see the structural uh means uh, if i want to insert some cage ladder or if i want to insert some sort of circu uh, circular platform so i can insert all the things now i will take the reference of this equipment and where i want to insert i can give the z elevation from there and where the top of grating should be there or top of uh, surface should be there so like that we can manage and then after from where we want to start the circular the circular platform that angle we will need so this is the uh, here me i am starting with the zero angle and till you can see uh, i am taking some reference and i am giving here a minus 135 reference. so you can see from zero to 135 it has been done means it has been created the circular platform has been created now i want to uh, add a cage ladder for example i am adding a cage ladder here i can take the reference which ladder i want to have i can select one of the ladder from here and then after uh, i will go to the circular platform nearby and where uh, the cage ladder should be started or from where we want to have till the surface of uh, the equipment grouting so like that we can add here 
now you can see uh, the I have done I have given some references and again I am coming here and I am giving the uh, equipment grouting means or equipment CV part or we can tell the dimensions from here and then after I am placing a ladder so this ladder has been placed here uh, as uh, the, you can see the ladder has been placed or circular platform has been placed likewise we can place stairs also if you are coming here in stairs uh, option and here see uh, we can select stairs which we want to and the conditions what we want to have for the stairs so that also can be selected for, as the user template will be there uh, for uh, changing the dimensions what we want to have so that we can change and it is asking me to have the lower level of this and I am selecting the lower level and which direction it should face so I am, I am giving as minus y and I want to uh, place the stranger so I can place here what kind of things I want to have lower end upper end and here you can see the stairs has been placed so like that we can place the stairs or if we want to have uh, means uh, I can tell uh, handrail so I can have handrail also or if I want to place a grating I can place a grating also by taking some references here and what is the size of the grating it is 30 mm or 50 mm so like that we can manage to give and the squares also bearing delta distance we can manage to have here as per the requirement or as per the standard which you are using so see this uh, uh, grating has been placed here so like that grating we can place now uh, I want to have a, a pipe rack or pipe bridge I can tell so I will take the reference of this and I will give some uh, uh, in y axis some dimensions where I want to start the pipeline I am uh, selecting this and what is the length of that pipe rack should be there so I will say I am selecting this length as 30,000 and then I am selecting that what are the tires I want to have cable to tires I want to add cable to tires or divider beam between that and what are the foundation we want to select we can select what kind of foundation we want to have and uh, also uh, knuckle bracing how, how, where, when uh, means after three uh, this uh, columns we are having something like that we can adjust so you can see here this uh, cable tray tire has been came divided beam has also came here and this knuckle bracing has came after this and foundation all these things came within a fraction of second you will only have to, to insert some values as per your requirement now I will come here I will place a handrail here so I am placing a handrail here and you can see I will take the one reference point and the second reference point and this handle has uh, handle has been created in a fraction of seconds so all these things we can do in a very proper manner in cadmatic environment thank you everyone for your precious time